So, Google Forms. A little bit tricky, but once you get used to it, it works out great. I'm going to show you how to use Google Forms to, say, autocorrect like a math assignment or something like that. Because life's tough enough, I'm going to show you a few ways that you can use Google Forms to autocorrect stuff for students. Say you give them a worksheet. They can either do the work on the on Google Forms or they could do all the work on a worksheet and then just enter the answers in to see if they're right. Now, there's a couple things you need to do first. This is what I would do anyway. Um, check your check check all of your settings. Say you're going to use this for um, students to check their work. So I'm okay with them editing it after they've done it. I'm not going to limit them to one because this actually isn't going to be a quiz. Since it's just practice, I'm always going to give them a progress bar so they know roughly where they're at. I'm not going to shuffle the questions. Um, and I don't typically do that, but whatever. We'll just leave it on because it'll be fine either way. I am going to make this a quiz. If I want the students to be able to check their work, I want to make this a quiz. So I do that. Don't turn on locked mode unless your students are all at school. So for distance learning, not something you want to click. Uh, they should be able to see it. I'm not going to give them the correct answers. I want them to see if they can get it. If they get it wrong, they can try again. That's what I'm going to do. So those are the settings I'll go with. And now here, I made some silly questions, obviously, but I can make the answer key show which one is correct. Now, if the student went in, they marked it, they got it wrong. In this case, it just shows them that they had it wrong. So if they guessed four, well, now they're going to have to go back and hopefully actually figure out that it's 8.4. Um, here, I can do it with a multiple choice grid. Real simple. You, you set up the answer key the same type of way. So it, it's pretty straightforward. You shouldn't have issues there. Um, but one thing I do want to show you is that you can also do this really effectively with um, fill in the blank. So if I gave them a worksheet, whatever type of worksheet, and I just want them to check their answers, if I put in question 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever it goes to, they can check that. And if I go short answer, question number 3, whatever they have, they're going to put that in. If I put for the answer key, answer key, the correct answer is, let's see, we'll say 65% or we'll just say the correct answer was 65 if they have anything other than 65, I want it to be marked as wrong. And I want them to be able to go back and try again. So that's what I do here. Again, I'll go through that one more time. Really effective. If I put this as question number four, and it's a short answer, leave that blank. But now that I'm in the answer key, I put my correct answer is um, 9.2 and anything other than 9.2 is going to be marked incorrect. Students would go through, they'd submit everything, and then once they're done it will tell them if they had it correct or not. See. Alright, thanks for your time. I hope that this is helpful for you.